What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here and in this video we're continuing talking about transformations of functions and more specifically we're going to talk about horizontal translations. And whenever you see horizontal translations, another way to describe that is if we take a function and we shift it left or right. So we're going to be taking a function and then translating it side to side, left or right. And as we mentioned already in previous videos, what we're going to do is take a parent function and then we are going to transform it and it's going to be in this format here. And in previous videos, we've already talked about the A and the K value, what kind of transformations those describe. Well, horizontal translations, they're described by the D value here, right? So depending on the value of D, that's going to tell you whether you're shifting a function left or right. So some examples is uh, if we have X squared and then we end up having X minus 4 squared, the D value, notice X minus D, the D value is positive 4, so we're taking this and shifting it 4 to the right. Or if we had x plus 4 squared, we can rewrite that as x minus negative 4. I kind of mentioned this in another video, the d value, we always take the opposite sign, so the d value would be negative 4. So we would, this x plus 4 squared is x squared shifted 4 to the left. Or another parent function, if we have like uh, the square root of x, well, we could have the square root of x minus 4. For example, that would be 4, that would be taking the square root of x, shifting it 4 to the right. Okay, so let's go over a couple of cases that that transformation value d can take. And actually, there's going to be a lot less cases than uh, we dealt with when we talked about a and k, which is nice. There's actually only three cases. Either d is going to be greater than 0, it's going to be positive. It's going to be equal to zero or it's going to be negative. Now, if D is greater than zero, then what we say is that we shift D units right. Or there's a horizontal translation D units to the right. So, for example, if we have... Um, the square root of x minus 4. Notice that the general transformation format for the square root would, with uh, x and d is x minus d, so x minus d, x minus 4, the d value is 4 in this case, which is greater than 0. So the way this looks is we're just taking the square root of x and we're just shifting it 4 to the right. So notice here it's at 0 and 0, so here it would be at 4 and 0. All right, so if that d value is positive, remember it's always the opposite sign of what's here. So if we have x minus 4, the d value in this case is positive 4. Um, it's positive, so we're shifting it to the right. Now, if the d value is equal to 0, well, then it would just stay as the square root of x. So there would be no shift in this case. Right? There wouldn't be a shift um, left or right. And if d is less than 0, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the function and shift it absolute value of d units left, right? An example of that is if we have the square root of x plus 4. So we have the square root of x plus 4. What's the d value going to be? It's going to be negative 4. Remember, it's the opposite sign always. Or you could take this, you could rewrite it as x minus negative 4 in that x minus d format. So x minus d, x minus negative 4. So the d value is negative 4. So when we get something like this, we wouldn't say that we are shifting negative 4 units left. 
we would just say we're shifting four units to the left. That's why I put that absolute value over here, right? The fact that it's negative gets taken care of by that description left right there versus if it's positive, it's going to be right. Okay, so this would be an absolute value d units to the left. So square root of x plus four, we're taking the square root of x, and then we're shifting it four units to the uh, left because that d value is negative four. And the way that looks, if we got the square root of x here, well, that would be the square root of x plus four. So this would be at negative four and zero because this was at zero and zero, but we took this and shifted it four units to the left. And you can actually test this. So you can take negative four, that x value negative four, plug it in here, negative four plus four is zero, square root of zero ends up just being zero. All right, so pretty simple. If the d value is positive, you're shifting to the right. If the d value is equal to zero, there's no shift. And if it's negative, then you're shifting absolute value d units to the left. And just remember that you're always going to be flipping that sign here. So for example, if I got x plus 3 squared, then the d value is negative 3. Or if I got the absolute value of x minus 5, the d value in this case is positive 5, right? So you're always flipping the sign of that d value. It's why I've mentioned before that the d value and the k value it's a little tricky to work with. The d value, you're flipping the sign, while the uh, k value, when you're describing it, you're taking the reciprocal.